So the first I talk about the basic administration, then second part is the backup and recovery. Backup of recovery is also the hot part of DBA, right? So if you lose data, data, you lose the job, right? So this is a DBA job to maintain the backup properly. If there is some disaster happen on the database server or database or some user you know, uh, mistake, like sometimes developer can delete the table, delete the card. So they ask you to restore the data, right? So this is a DBA job to restore the data uh, on time. So backup and recovery is a very important topic. Then third, we talk about security. So security uh, is also very, a very critical part, uh, role and responsibility by DBA. So he should maintain the security of the database tier, not network or other security, only database server, right? So someone if connect the database, so if someone connect to the database server, which user he need to connect, right? So you can enable audit, you can trace which user connected and what he has role and responsibility, what he has privileges, okay? So it is read only privileges or read write or which privileges he has, right? So this is a DBA job to create users and maintain user and also uh, you know maintain the password complexity on the database server. And third thing, we, uh, uh, third thing is a day-to-day -day operation task and day-to-day -day activity. We will talk because see the, the basic DBA job, I mean, as a junior or senior DBA, you have to know a little about PSQL, right? Because PSQL, you have query. I will share all query step-by-step, -step, right? So you can keep in your record when you need, for example, you need to see the all database sizes, right? In your, uh, in your database server. So if you go through PG admin, you can go one by one, right? You can go one by one, check the size and all. But if you run one query on the PSQL, you will get all database sizes, right? So uh, some tasks uh, you, you have to do through the PSQL, right? And uh, for the day-to-day -day operation, I will also share the one shell script, which I made you know, for other customer. So this shell script will, when you run this script on the database server, it will give you complete picture of your database status, okay? It will give you, there is a space, there is no space issue, there is no deadlock, there is no block, right? So there is no, uh, uh, you know, dead couplet. We will talk about this okay, in detail. So uh, let me start now the backup and recovery part. Then we can go go ahead. You know, okay. You have any questions so far? No, I'm good. <laughs> you know, I will all command here. I will I will share all command. Okay, to you. So we will go through this one, you know, all command, okay? I just open new tab. Before starting the backup and recovery, you know, uh, uh, Piggy, you maybe know in the SQL server, you have physical architecture of the data files, right? Uh, first, I will talk about SQL, then I make comparison with the Postgres, okay? So you will, uh, I, I think I explained earlier, but uh, today we need to know a little about this, okay? This is the prerequisite for backup and recovery, okay? So basically, uh, enable archive log. This is very uh, important. So before uh, starting the archive log uh, uh, definition, I will start first, you know, like SQL Server database, we have physical architecture, uh, data files, and log files, and backup files, right? Mm -hmm. So each, each database system, like Oracle, SQL, MangoDB, Postgres, they have own physical directory structure, right? Uh, you remember, uh, I told you, this is a directory structure. Let, let me open this one. This is my Postgres database server. If I little fast, just stop me, okay? If you will not get, stop me, okay? Okay. So when I log into PC, see, this is my Postgres running here, right? So if I go CD, PhD data, uh, this is my, my basically the data directory, right? These are my all data directory, right? So there is one most important directory is base, base directory. You see the base directory here? Any Postgres mm -hmm. database, you will have it, this directory, base directory. 
So your all database is physically stored in the base directory. Okay, just remember, if you mm -hmm. go to the go to the base base directory, cd chain directory, base ls. If you see the each directory have one database. Each directory mean one database. Like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine databases. You get that? So this is called basically o, o, OID number. OID number is a, you know uh, is a, is an internal term for the Postgres. But just remember, you have each database will have own directory. If I show you this directory real time, if you p SQL, just put l list of the database. Okay, slash l. So you always when run the command from the p SQL, you use the forward slash. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I put l. You will see how many databases, one, two, three, four, five, six, six databases I have, right? Mm -hmm. Six, seven. Okay, because this output is not, you know, organized way, you can make it extended format. Like if you put X slash X, it will give you in the grid format. Okay, so ex expanded display is on, right? Then you run the mm -hmm. command L. When you run the L, it will give you like that, or this is good, right? So you have this database. This is the one record. This is second. So one record, two record, one database, second database, third database, four database, and you know, see five, eight database, nine database, ten database, right? So you can get the output in uh, in decent way, right? And you can see you you will get all detail, you know, in the database related. Like this is the database name, which is the day four DB. And this, who is the owner of this database? You can see the post gris, right? So mm -hmm. this is the uncoding UTF-8 is the character set. This is okay. Uh, but these two points, the, these two things you is very important. Day four, I mean database name and owner, who is the owner of this database, right? So this is very important. So, uh, if I create one more database, create database, uh, piggy, it created, right? If you if you again put the command ls, you will see the piggy database here. Where it is? It go up, right? This one, right? Mm -hmm. So if you see now the structure, but I, I need to show you just slash q for quit, just ls, you will see the one uh, you you can put command ls minus al so it will give you the date you know when it created right so today is 13 right mm -hmm. this this is the new database created you see here this directory for this database created right yeah so the mean is why i'm telling when you create any database it create directory under base directory right so your all data files store in the base directory. Okay. Any question? So all 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 data files are stored in the base directory. Right. When you create any any data file database on the database system, either using PSQL or using PG Admin, the database created in under data folder and uh, under base directory. You will get this file. You know, if you want to see the database file size, you can use this command du minus sh. Du mean disk usage and put steric. So it will show you all database directory size. You see here? Yes. You see here? Mm -hmm. 16 MB, 7 MB, 8 MB. This is a Linux command. We will also see how to check the database sizes through psql. Okay. Okay. So this is the Linux command to see uh, under directory what is the size of files. Okay. So this I talk about data file. Now we have log file. In SQL we have data file extension MDF. In log file we have extension NDF, uh, LDF. In backup file we have. In backup file we have uh, BAK. Okay. So this is extension of this here. In SQL, in Postgres, we talk about data files, okay? If you, we talk about data file, no, the log file, you know how data, the data is going to the database. 
Well, for example, you insert some data, some data into table, right? Table is basically data container. You put all data into the table, right? You're all database data under a table object, right? Mm -hmm. So when you when you insert data, it will go first, first uh, what it will take, first it will go to the log file. All commit committed data or uncommitted data under log file. And there is one job checkpoint in the database term is running. When checkpoint run, it will move data to the data file physically, okay? So this is the flow mm -hmm. of the data, right? So first, it, all data first go to the log file, right? So in the log file behind, there is the backend processes, okay? And these processes will take this data to the data file, okay? By default, in Postgres, there is six log files, okay? Mm -hmm. So what it do uh, when six log file full of each log file size by default is 16 MB, okay? Mm -hmm. You get that, 16 MB. I will show you, okay? So just keep remember the directory structure of the Postgres is the data file and log file, right? So, mm -hmm. so, but but what is happening when six six last log file becoming full? It will recycle the last log. Okay, this is very important. Recycle the log file. Okay, last log file. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is this is this happening in the fashion, you know. So. To avoid data, for example, your database is crash or there, there is some corruption and your log file re recycle and regenerated log file, right? So you will lose the data. So, right. So the, the purpose is they always recommend, recommended in the production environment, you have to enable archive log, okay? So what it will do, when last, last log becoming full, it will archive all log in archive log and keep it in separate location, right? So when you have mm -hmm. some disaster or some crash, you can get data from archive log, not from this log file, right? You get that? <sighs> little, little difficult part, right? <laughs> yeah. No, you should know about how data is coming to the database, then what is the process to going to the data file, okay? And how you can maintain the database, you know, integrity and database, if there is crash happen or something happen, you have to keep log file in separate location, right? So in this case, if you lose some data, you can recover data from archive log, right? If you are not mm -hmm. unable archive log, you will lose the data if sixth line will be recycled, right? Mm -hmm. So the database production should be archive enabled. This is a point. If someone asks question, if you have database crash, how you recover the database, mm -hmm. right? We will talk about mm -hmm. detail when we go with the backup method, type of backup method, right? So just remember, we need to enable archive log on the database level, okay? So this basically log file called wall file, okay? Wall mean, wall mean, write eight log to disk. Basically this one, huh? to disk, okay? Mm -hmm. So you have data files and you have log files, okay? Any database system, mm -hmm. any like SQL, we have transaction log backup, okay? And Oracle, we have redo log backup, which is archive log, right? In Postgres, mm -hmm. we have archive log. So all databases have archive log, right? Mm -hmm. So this is very important to understand the archive log uh, 
uh, you know, uh, how to enable the archive. Uh, for example, you install fresh installation of Postgres database, right? So first you, you will see this database archive enable or not, right? If not enable, if it is production, you should inform your manager or your, you know, the, the company, this database is non-archive mode, right? If there is anything crash happen during the recycling process, we cannot recover the database. So you should inform to the company. So archive enable is a very important task for DBA, okay? Mm -hmm. So, so you know, I will show you know where is the this directory. We 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 remember in the base folder we have data file and there is a pg wall pg underscore wall directory, our all log file under pg underscore wall. Okay. When you make as ls, you will see these are our log files. You see here. You put ll ll command to list it like that. You see here, this is our archive log. If you see the size of archive log, uh, du minus static, you see 16 MB. These two archive log is here. You see here, each is archive log, I mean, sorry, not archive, sorry, log file. Okay, this I'm sorry is, for that. I have a question. These commands that you're putting, right? Is this just commands that you know? Or are yeah, you just to... know. You just know anywhere, it's a Linux command. So I'm as I'm supposed to know all these commands. You sh you should know. You just write down somewhere. You should know about this. Mm -hmm. You know how you will check the size of your data files. How you check your size of the log file, right? So for example, you want to see the database size. You can just uh, use this command. This is a very simple command. You know. How you? How do you know the command to use? What do you mean? That's my, but that's my problem because you put this, this L, the disk, disk, L, L. Disk, you, you must have disk usage, disk usage, mm -hmm. disk usage. You know, I have directory, this, this is our directory, right? So under mm -hmm. directory, I want to see what is the size of file under this directory, right? You see this mm -hmm. file size is 8 KB, this file 4 KB, this, this file size is 16 MB. So each 16 MB size is a log file. Uh, okay. Right? So this command basically to, to find the size of directory, right? Like mm -hmm. in, in Windows, in Windows, if you go to Window Explorer, you want to see this, this folder size, right? Or you will see, mm -hmm. right click and go to property, right? I will go inside. I will click here, property. You see the size here, right? This mm -hmm. is my size of this. And if you if you size it in individual, you will see here by default in window is size is coming, right? Mm -hmm. File size is coming, right? File size, right? So mm -hmm. this is same thing, you know, which you see in Linux. The folder size. So for mm -hmm. example, I need to see the folder size. I step back cd dot dot and I put du minus sh pg underscore wall. I need to check the size of this folder. So I see 33 MB is folder size. Oh, okay. So basically I need to know the commands to be able to check the, the size of the data file. Right. I all Linux important command I will put in text file. I will share with you guys. Okay. Okay. So you have to make some practice. This command is very important. You have to remember, right? So this is this is the purpose of training because you can you can go through Google, you can go through any tutorial, right? So some command, mostly command will not in the tutorial. You have to remember this command. This is the experience, right? Based on experience, this command you have to remember. Okay. So any question about archive log? What is archive? Why we use archive? Uh, Piggy, you have any question? You are keep quiet and silent mode today. 
No, I'm just, I'm just looking. You know, in the SQL, you have transaction log, right? Yeah. We're taking backup transaction log, backup every one hour or based on retention policy, right? Yeah. So this is same, same as the archive log is the same. Okay. You are keeping log file on different place to keep backup before recycling, right? Yeah. So Dora, to answer that question of how you know the commands, right? Mm -hmm. uh, basically, just like we are all new with the commands thing, the only thing that you're gonna do is you can go to the internet, you say um, basic, um, you can In say basic, Asian. no, basic Postgres, Postgres commands Command, or basic okay. uh, PowerShell commands. You all mm -hmm. see this thing or basic Linux, they're all Linux commands. They'll mm -hmm. all be there. So you can do like a cheat sheet. You got a point. A cheat mm -hmm. sheet, like you, you, you print I it out. Share. Yeah. He, mm -hmm. he, he, I think he shares some of them. At the end of the day, you all come up with your own cheat sheet. You write it down, you paste it on your wall. Mm -hmm. The more you use it, the more you know. You know, you I don't know. I don't know all of them, but you know, basically, the more you, you start using, you say you like CD, this, you gotta get it, do a uh, dash L, you do DU dash SH, you all know, you do LS command, you will know. So by the time you do it like two, three, four times, you will not be looking mm -hmm. at the cheat sheet anymore. So, I mean, that's the only way we're gonna learn it. So, you know, I have, because I am working since 20 years on DBA. So I, yeah, I, I, I have all the yeah. one here, you see here? In my notepad. So every <laughs> running, sometimes you forget the command, right? So you have to remember. For example, if you see my, you know, uh, my I will show you my working directory. Mm -hmm. We'll see here. Oh, this is my all commands. You see here. <laughs> yeah, he can share some of them with yeah, us, I, and then, <laughs> then we will take it, and then you create your own um, notepad. Mm -hmm. You create your own cheat sheet, you create whatever, whatever thing, one note you want to create on the one note, you keep it there. So if you want to just like say, uh, uh, how can I get uh, Active Directory, you get it. Your meeting is going to end very soon. It will, this <coughs> command will come based when you work, start, then you will remember the command and you go through this command, right? So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this this command is come to your when you join to a word then you will uh, you know okay they need uh, the folder size oh how to how to check the folder size then you will memorize oh this command i have i can use to check the folder size right so this command mm -hmm. will come in in practice right then as, as piggy said you have one data sheet you create one data sheet on your you know uh, on your laptop and then you can use frequent Frequently, you know, use this command. When you use oh, one okay. or two or four times, then you remember. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's just the same mm -hmm. thing like us with SQL. We didn't know all those commands, so mm -hmm. we still have commands that we're still learning right now. So you just keep this. It's like scripting. You're writing a script. So okay. So now it, it, there, there are a lot of them. So you just need to have a few that you need to know. Yeah, and you. They, they have like basic words that you have to be using like every day. You see, mm -hmm. if, he, if you watch, you see him using all the LS command, all the, yeah, C, uh, mm -hmm. the uh, CD command, go to the active directory, you go to who um, IP config, all those like, those are very basic that we will have to know. But the point is, uh, since you were all starting, it's Linux. You will write mm -hmm. those commands and just put them in front of you, like your okay. cheat sheet, you understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you put a command, you put it there like, okay, if I do an LS, is to list, is to list my active, it's to list my, give me a list of wherever I am, my active directory, a list of whatever thing I'm looking. You write it there. So if I want to see something, I write it. So you, it's like your cheat sheet. You're going to put. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, you always refer to the cheat sheet. By the time you look at your cheat sheet like two, three times with those basic all the time comment. That is it. You'll not be gonna, you you just know after some time you'll not be using that one. But as time goes, you still go back to cheat sheet and because those commands are so many. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's why I'm not too asking about the commands. <laughs> I don't I know the commands actually, but yes. I'm not asking. But I know that it's something yeah, that. Yeah, because I was like, how all these commands? How does it just be L S C D U S H? Like, like for example, L S L S L S commands. 
like yeah. you know, CD chain directory, LSV list of the direct, list of the file is under directory, right? You have mm -hmm. disk usage command, disk usage. You have top command to see the resources, right? Mm -hmm. You have uh, mm -hmm. MK DIR, make directory, make folder. Yeah, directory, make the right? yeah. So mm -hmm. you have CH owner, CH owner mean uh, change the ownership of directory, right? You have yeah. uh, CH mode command change mm -hmm. change mode. You know change mode, mode means give permission, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So these command basic command. I will I will put in uh, Linux basic command, okay, which uh, is day to day. You know you have to use. See, I can skip this part, but this this part is not skippable. <laughs> mm -hmm. Without mm -hmm. this. Without this, so we need, is, I need to know. Okay. Yeah. But this is the purpose of this training, right? If if mm -hmm. I miss because it is easy for me to give you GUI interaction and interactive way and finish. This will not help you, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to go with the real, uh, you know, the real because we are we are doing course. You get job, right? So mm -hmm. so you have to remember these command. So see here, I created. Uh, uh, 55 questions okay for interview preparation questions with answers i will also we will go through all questions today okay and i will share all questions which is important question right so this is very important for you people you know so now uh, 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 first we need to our target is to check first archive log is enabled or not right so first we have to go, first step, I will put step here, okay? Archive, log, enabled or not, right? This is the first thing, how to check. So go to the psql, here, log into the psql database, okay? This is the database. You can see here, which user your, you know, connection information. So this command you can use con info. You see here, when I put this command, it, it show me uh, you are connected to Postgres database, okay? User Postgres, okay? And this, this is the Postgres by default port. Three thing you are seeing here, right? So this is like, for example, I connect to the DVD rental database. I Let me access. Sorry, I'm. <laughs> yeah, this is Topi. One more time. Dora, oh. let me just put it to Dora. Dora, do you remember my password last week? <laughs> welcome oh, it's, I welcome one two three. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Dora, welcome one two three. Why is it not working? No, I'm sorry. Welcome one one two three. Why oh, this thing? Root, username is root. It you was root one, two, three. Yeah, no, no, no. Username is root. You see the down not listed. Click on not, not listed, then type username root. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right, that was that works. Okay. Thank you. So uh, you see here, uh, you asked the Dora any question about this command? Mm, I I still don't understand. Okay, so by default, every that they have a port number, right? Yeah, any database system have default port number, right? Mm -hmm. Either SQL, mm -hmm. Oracle, Postgres. Like Oracle, we have 1521 by default port. It is port-based communication between client and server, right? So mm -hmm. any database, you can they can ask the question interviewer. They ask the question, what is the default port of Postgres? You have to remember mm -hmm. 5432. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, 5432. Like in, in the SQL Server, what is the piggy default port in SQL Server? Question for uh, me. The default port for SQL Server has to be um, uh, one four three. Let me, one yeah, four three one, three. yeah, one four three three. That's right. Right. In okay. Oracle, we have one five two one. Okay. Okay. So for post Postgres is five four three two. 
Yeah, here in the interview question, they can ask three questions. Okay, in uh -huh. this command, three question is there. What is the default database in Postgres? You can say Postgres. This is the first okay. answer. You see there, when you connect to the Postgres database server using PSQL, by default, the Postgres have Postgres database, right? And Postgres, okay. user, Postgres user. Any data, any Postgres database installation have Postgres database and Postgres user. Okay. Okay. So wait, say that again. Any Postgres and, and For example, any Postgres database server have Postgres mm -hmm. database and Postgres user. By mm -hmm. default. By default. Right? Mm -hmm. They can ask question, what is the default username in the Postgres? You can say Postgres. What is the default database in Postgres? You can say Postgres database. Right? And this GPT rental, this is a user database. We created, right? Mm -hmm. We created. So this is user-based database. This is system database. This is user database, right? Make sense? Yeah. Now, if we see up arrow key, up arrow key, you can go previous command. Up arrow key, connection information, you will see here. You are connecting to the DVD rental, right? User, mm -hmm. most aggressive user. Right? So I will go to the Postgres again, connect to Postgres. So I will check you, when you do any uh, enable archive log or any, uh, you know, uh, any task related to the system database, you have to use Postgres database, right? This is also third thing you have to remember. When you do any uh, system log job, like archive enable the system based database job, right? You are enabling archive log on the database server, not specific database, right? For all databases, right? Mm -hmm. So you are enabling archive log for all databases, not only the specific database, right? This is also a very important point. So when we do Enable archive log, we need to connect to the Postgres database, okay? So we connected to the Postgres data. First, we check the archive enable or not. This is command, show archive underscore mode, colon. You see here, archive is off, right? Mm -hmm. So archive mode is off, mean you have six, you can reach six re uh, log file and at the end, last log file will recycle, okay? When it increase more than 16 MB, it will recycle, okay? So for this purpose, we need to enable the archive log. Don't, before recycling, make archive log copy on the different place, okay? Mm -hmm. So in this case, if you have some disaster database crash, you can recover database on time. This is very important. Any question? And there is second thing, second command is, this is archive mode, then we have one command. In command, we mention where we need to put our archive log when we archive the log, right? So you can put archive command, this command, you will see it is disabled. You know, when you copy wall file from one location to other location, you have to use any command, right? Mm -hmm. So this, these two parameter is very, but these called parameters. These two parameters you have to check first. I will copy these parameter here. Okay, for action for you. Okay, this is step one. Step two. Step two. We need to decide where we want to keep our archive log in the Linux server, right? We need mm -hmm. to we need to create folder where we want to keep our archive log, right? Mm -hmm. So. First, we need to create, this is the second step, create the directory structure for archive log. Dora, you are, you are feeling uh, upset due to commands, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. This is very important there. You just remember and do one to two time practice. You know, this is very important, commands. Okay. 
because we cannot skip these command, right? In previous lecture, I was very, very, you know, <laughs> easy way, right? So now this is the most important task you have to remember. Create the directory structure for archival. So first command we use make directory minus p, minus p mean if, uh, if we need to create two-step directory, right? For example, I will show you first example, then we can create. Mm -hmm. Quit from Linux. You know, you have to check which user I am connected. You, you type ID. So you will find which user you are connected. If you see ID, user ID is Postgres. So I am connecting to the Postgres user, right? Mm -hmm. So first I need to create, go step back, not under PG data, different place we need to create directory. So for example, I create MKDIR minus uh, P, P mean parent directory, mean all subdirectory it will create it. For example, I create archive, I create PG archive log, okay? Then under, mm -hmm. under I create archive logs. Like that, you know? Uh, archive logs, okay? So this I can mm -hmm. see, you don't have permission because I am sitting in the root. So I will go to the home directory where I am. Uh, where, you know, the PWD present working directory, this is present working directory in the root. So what I do, I will go with my Postgres directory, you know, where I have my Postgres. You can see, just type PG data, and PWD, this is my Postgres data directory, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can do one thing more. Exit from Postgres, go to root user, right? Go to root user. CD backslash mean come to the, don't remember this command, just I will clean this one for confuse. You connected to root user, right? This is first step. Now you need to create the directory minus, just put archive log, archive logs, enter. So this directory is created under root here, right? Archive logs here, right? This folder is created. So I'll put switch to root user. Undo. This one, you get that? I'm connecting to the root user, right? Then we need to the, the give permission ownership to this directory for Postgres user, right? Because we are created directly to root user, right? Change ownership, Postgres user and Postgres group. Which directory? Archive logs. That's it. So now, if you see ls minus l, l, you see the permission of this directory. You see here, who is the owner of the directory? Postgres, Postgres, right? Other directory, all owner is root, right? Any question there? I'm lost. We, we just create one folder. This folder, we give ownership of Postgres user, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Because see, in the Postgres database, you as a DBA, Postgres is your user. Root user is a system admin user, right? This is not your mm -hmm. user who is managing the Linux servers, right? Mm -hmm. Postgres is your user, right? So when you have ownership of this folder, then you are able to save or copy data under this folder using Postgres user, right? You will see. <coughs> so first we created the directory for our archive log, then step three.
<coughs> so for you to create this directory structure for archive logs, you need to use commands to create it. Yeah. Or okay. you can use the WinCP. You can create GUI interface like, like if you connect to WinCP, you remember I showed you last time. If you don't want to use command, you can connect to WinCP. This is my database server. I make easy little for you. Connect to post this user. Right? This is my this mm -hmm. is my home directory. You can create folder here if you want. Create directory archive log. Right? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. This is the path. So you can you can go to this and uh, click here, copy this path, put it, <coughs> put it here. So we can save our archive log here. No need, no, I will put command, but I just put the uh, using win CD. Okay, or I put R, okay? Mm -hmm. Win CP, you can create folder. Okay, like I created mm -hmm. this one. Either you can, you can put your archive log under this folder, you can just give this part. Okay. This is easy. Right? Yeah, but it looks like I still I still can run away from the commands. Piggy, you you are uh, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. You know, so uh, I just want to find out. I just want to uh, uh, get get it straight. Like, which of the um application do you use? Which of the application do you prefer to use well? Like, do you always go back to your WinCP to use it or you just always use your um, command okay. interface? Yeah. First, in the beginner level, you have to use WinCP to understand, create folder, read folder, see the, see the directory structure of the Postgres, right? You can use the WinCP. If you go here, go to <clears throat> You know, just uh, go up. I see here is the go up, go up. Here you see the PG data somewhere. This one PG data, right? Go mm -hmm. to PG data. You can see everything from here also, right? But just for your information, you have to remember command. You know, when you go in the advanced level, right? <laughs> so see mm -hmm. everything you can see from here also. You can create folder. You can create directory. You can filter everything you can do from here. You can create file, link, right? You can copy from here to here. Like for example, I copy this one file here. I copy, right? See here, I can open this file here, right? So you can use WinCP initially, but remember the command. You know how to create folder under using WinCP? how to create folder on command line shell, right? So these two uh, things, I mean, uh, purpose is same, but, uh, but as a DBA role, you have both access. You have WinCP, WinCP using same protocol, right? You can use in your environment WinCP also. If you have SSH access, you can use WinCP, okay? All right. Now we have, uh, you people have, you know, both uh, Postgres is connected on your computer. You are, you just make a command at least follow me, you know. Okay. Pokemon, 
Okay, when I go to my PG PG admin, right? Yeah. I had savers that I created, even databases that I created, but I can't find them anymore. So but what, what again? Why if you created why you are not able to find it? Should be there, right? Uh, yeah, so I know I had savers that I created, like I created um a lot of savers I created, even databases under it. I don't know why I can't find them. Um, clicking on the savers, it shows me like nothing. So I'm logging into all my systems. I know I'm in the root. You want me to right check now? now? You want me to check now? I just want to find out how is it possible okay. that you got okay. that. You, you can show, you, you can share the screen, we can see that. PSQL, PG. So, can I make okay. you host? Oh, sure. Let me. Oh, uh, you have to stop sharing. Yeah, yeah. You can make. You can share now. Okay, for example, I'm right here. Uh, so I don't see my savers, like nothing is here right now. You did not add it actually. Add new server? I did, honestly. Maybe I did. Different, yeah. Can you try now? Yeah. Not possible actually. Maybe this is a different PG add. Oh, uh, I just, okay, because when I first of all started my, PG, I mean, it tells me that it could not restart. So I turn it off and I restart it again. Uh, maybe just connection, IP of your server. Uh, Go to connection. Uh huh. You can, uh, yeah, put the IP of server. The post gris password. No, no, connection. Go to connection. Put the password of Postgres. What you have Postgres password? You remember? Okay, it has to be the one that I create. Okay. That's it. Save. You see, why is it saying this? Crypto key is missing. Crypt key is missing. I don't understand why they mean that by that. Oh, you created this one. Post this username, password. Go to journal. Go to SSL. SSL, you did some changes. SSL, SSL mode. No. No, no, no. Just advance. It's okay. No, 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 not here. Can you give me control? Let me see. So I don't know whether this happened because I rebooted because I actually rebooted my sys my whole system and did some upgrade. No upgrade. What what do you upgrade? What do you mean? Oh, uh, the, the post list no. is running. Your post list is running here. Yeah. No. Ah, okay. So su post grace user su switch user post grace. PG CTL CTL status. No, no server running. Okay, so you have to start. PG under CTL start. <coughs> no, it started. Okay. Now you okay. see the status again is running, right? Okay. Now you can add. Go ahead, add new server. 
put the pg is equal database db database any any name you can put okay connection yeah. go to the ip 192.168.1.70 right mm -hmm. and put the password okay see it. all right let me change the password and see no no just one minute let me see the ip address list this is your ip uh yeah 192.168.1 yep 192 yeah dot 70 yep yeah, let me start this one close this one what is this yeah right there it's gonna take some minute or sec uh a minute or something yeah put the password add server I don't, I, the other server should have appeared. Why are you going to do it? Uh, you added that time server, right? Uh, you added server, right? You said you added. Yeah. PG SQL, let me put this one. The other data should have um but this uh, we, uh, we did new installation or you did installation earlier. Unable to connect to save a timeout. Uh, okay, just let me see. Maybe file one. Just let me see. No, it is different error, right? Yeah. So okay, remember. We need, to, we need to check the firewall. Service, firewall, D status. D status. It is running, right? Okay. We, we remember we, we said we need to disable. Okay. Service, firewall, D stop. Then we need to disable when it reboot. We disable. We don't want uh, enables in startup. You know when you reboot it enable again, right? So okay. we just take it off. Check config firewall D off. So it is disabled now. Permanent disable. Okay. okay, so you have to check config firewall D off. This is how to disable firewall in Linux. Okay. Reset. Put the name now. Put that one. Nine two one one six eight one. That's seven zero. What the. Uh, user name is wrong. We can change the password if you want. Can we okay. change? Uh, uh, we can change. Just one minute. Okay. See, you will get uh, password does not matter. You see that you found the error here on your console. Let's see your post this. This equal slash password. Postgres, put the new password and remember. Yeah, no put here. This.
connect now. It has been rubbish. You see, I got past, I got things on the, I got databases that I created, right? You remember yeah, that we did run a DVD rental? Piggy, just understand, you connect to a database server, test DB, right? Under uh -huh. test DB, you created all databases, right? First is the server, uh -huh. then databases. Right? Okay. Uh huh. Nice running. Okay. All right, now stop sharing. I just have that confusion with password reset. Why do we always have to reset your password all the time? Not always. You forget. You, you forget. Not always. <laughs> <laughs> you forget. Because it's so boring. You have to go reset those passwords. No, you have, you to, have to remember the password. Okay. If, you, if you forget the password, how you will become DBA? <laughs> I know. Yeah, password is a big issue. I don't forget no password, but this one. <laughs> you, you, should, uh, you, you are going to become DBA, so you should maybe 100 or 200 command in your mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, right now, I have more than 300 command Linux in my mind. Because you've been doing that every day, man. Yeah, because every day, day-to-day -day task, and you know, I'm working since 20 years. So at mm. least you know, one command again and again, again and again, right? So yeah. that's why I memorize, right? Yeah, that's why I said it takes time, and I know very well. Time. Where is you? You have but, to share us your cheat sheet. Share us your command. Uh, yeah, I know I we do share. have, we do have them online. I know that. Oh, uh, but. I will share related to Postgres database. Yes. So now the third step is we need to configuration. We need to enable the this setting, you know. So this command basically we <coughs> echo mean we need to change this parameter in post of our configuration. You remember we have very critical file. This is Postgres SQL dot com. You remember we talk a lot. Uh -huh. So this is the Postgres yeah. configuration file, right? Yeah. So we need to uh, set parameter. We need to put the archive mode on. We need to put the archive command, copy file from here location to, you know, uh, from the wall file to this location, right? So either you can put, you remember we put create directory. We can put here or we can put here. You, you have both choices. We can put here like that. Right. Mm -hmm. So this we change our R archive go to this folder. This is our command. So this is our archive mode we make on in configuration file. Okay. This is a wall level hot standby. You know, it is real time copying, you know. And this is wall sender, uh, maximum wall send one file it will send in one time. Okay. This is a basic configuration to enable archive log in Postgres configuration. Okay. So how I will do here. I log into Postgres user. Then I go to PG data, CD, PG data. You can see the command PG CD data, right? So now I need to run this command. First command I copy. What it will do? This echo mean this parameter set in this file, okay? I copy this command. You, you can copy in one shot even. Copy all. You can put in one shot, right? So these parameter, four parameter, we need to set for archive enable, to enable archive log. Okay. Now, after, when this parameter is set, we need to restart the Postgres database to affect this file. Okay. Restart the Postgres service. Database service. How we restart? So PG underscore CTL stop and start. 
ओके एनी क्वेश्चन नो नो यू लॉग इन टू पी सी कॉल एंड चेक द स्टेटस अगेन यू नो स्टिल अनेबल It's still off, right? First, we see. Can you can you please scroll up? Let me. I want to follow from the first step. I'm sorry. Where? I want to. I want to follow. No, just scroll up on your right here. Before we get to configuration, I want to do the credit directory, because um yeah by the yeah, check. Archives lock enabled. Yeah. I want to work under the PG SQL, right? Uh, Postgres. Yeah. I'm under Postgres right now. Right. Uh -huh. Maybe, uh, you uh, uh, Dora, you also do this better. Mm -hmm. Wait. So we're on the show active mode. Uh, we're under the Postgres. Oh. Right. Okay, so you say sure. Okay, sure. Oh, oh, hold on. Archive mode. Oh. Whatever thing I'll be writing here. Uh, go back to the command line. Let me see what you were doing when you had the first step. Uh, in command line and uh, Postgres yeah. database server. Yeah. Yeah. Up. Oh. When you had the first step. Okay. Up. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you can get this all step. If you type history here, history, you will see all command which I type. You see here? Yeah, but I'm not even, uh, I'm still on my Postgres uh, road user. So I need to leave the SU, Postgres. SU, SU, SU Postgres. I am on Postgres already. Okay. Yeah, I am on Postgres. Okay, but now you did SU Postgres, it brought you to. Postgres, PG test, PG data. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Next CD, dollar sign, PG data. This is the command. Okay. CD, yeah. Uh, I have a problem. Mine will not open. We can do one by one. If you want to share. Okay. Yeah, one person can share. Though you can share your screen. So we follow from there. Because Dora? I really want to get that. Dora will share? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, Dora, you can share. Can you see it now? Yeah, yeah. Just type the IP, connect. IP, which one? You, you, you remember IP or no? No, I don't. Okay, if you go to the virtual box, because you share only this putty window, share all desktop. Okay. Yeah, disable share and share full share screen.
Share. Yeah. Go to VM. Yeah. Log in to this and check your IP. Just click on show. Show. No, show up. So there is a button show, you know, above right side. Show button. Or right click on the VM and click on show. Right click on the VM, left side. No, no, on, on, on the virtual box, there on the virtual box, you already opened, right? No, no, yeah, open. You already open. just Dora custom. Oh. Yeah, yeah right there. Click on show. The green yeah. button, the green button up there. Yeah. Click enter. Why it's coming like that? Can you give me access? Allow me access. Yeah. <sighs> View, scale mode. Show. Yeah, here, right? Just minimize. Yeah, I, this had that. I had that too. Yeah, you can see here now IP. You connected already PG admin, right? Right click mm -hmm. on PG admin database. Right click. Property. Ah, okay. Okay, click okay. Let it connect first. You rebooted earlier? No. Reboot? No, no, just wait. Let me see. Let's close this one. Open this one. Connection has been lost. Okay. Refresh. No, no problem. We can see here. Show. Next. <coughs> Mouse is not an order. Tab, use tab. Tab, tab, tab. Tab. Next. Next. Which one? We can choose any. Which, which? Okay, we can choose any. Hmm. Oh my God. Welcome on to the okay? Mm 
Why not? It's common. Provide common password. So W capital. Welcome. One two three. Not taking. Dora. One two three. Okay. No. I put uh, Dora. One two three four five six. Why not? Still not checking. A password without your username. See how much security. <laughs> we put Dora by username, right? You can put any password which you want. Okay. Put any password there. Okay. Okay. Can I do that? Okay, let me then later you can change. You can change. Okay. Mm -hmm. First time we need to vote. Let me do that to save time. I will put my own password, then we change. Why you are going from here? You can go from here now also. Putty. Where is the putty? You have putty, right? Uh, you don't know the password, IP, right? Yes. That's <laughs> Let me show you. Can you close this one? Your mouse is working? No, no. Close in corner, right corner. Can you go the mouse? If you have access, I cannot use my mouse. Okay. Let me do that. So, um, it's either you use putty or use the VM. I mean the virtual the virtual box. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear me now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, either you can, because the virtual box is only for installation. When installation done, you have to remember the IP and use putty. You get that? Okay. So now we need to go to the putty. Yeah. See the IP 10 0, 0, 2, 2, 4. Yeah, can you make it putty? Yeah. Ten dot zero dot zero. You want me to okay? Type. That's going to be the IP I'll use for this. Yeah, yeah because this IP, I think uh, it is not your network IP actually. Just one minute. <sighs> Can we go to virtual box again? You did some changes, right? I don't know. Before it was working, right? Mm -hmm. Right click, setting, network. Ah, this is okay. Bridge adapter, right? This is okay. Okay. We go here again. I think firewall. Same thing, firewall. What was the password of root? Do you remember? Oh, welcome, one, two, three. <laughs> no. You mean the one that I created? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, put, but when you created the VM, you put the password, right? 
Yes. Yeah. Can you make a, just type the password? Okay. Enter. Yeah. It See? Worked. Yeah, it worked. So now you can set your uh, yeah root password. You remember, right? Mm -hmm. First, we need to check the firewall is. Service firewall. Store, store firewall. Check config. Firewall off. Permanently off, right? Mm -hmm. Now we go to putty again. And zero zero two to four, right? No. It's working now. No, no. First, we can check it's reachable, not ping, then dot zero dot zero dot two to four. It is not reachable. Maybe IP is not correct. Yes, let's see the IP. If config minus a, uh -huh. if config, if config minus a. You can check from here also, you see here, the computer above. Okay. Uh, we can put pipe sign more. It will give page wise 10.0.0.224. This is your IP. 10.0. We put the same, right? Yes. 10.0.0224. Hmm. Let me check your IP on the computer, your computer, right? Me? So you have to put 225. No, no, no. I yeah, check. because because 224 should be the computer, but now she needed to add a 225. Yeah, I will check here, her computer. Is, okay, this is 223. Okay, I think it's correct. 224 is correct. Okay. <laughs> That's it right here over there. Prefer 10.0.22. Why it is not reaching? Uh, 224. Yeah. Yeah. It's not reachable. Check the uptime and see. No, I will check here. Why it's not going down? We remember we set your setting, right? You mm -hmm. remember something. <sighs> so this <clears throat> okay. Mm. 
Can you take mouse to this uh, wire connected? My mouse to where? You see the window wire connected left, right side. No. Mm -hmm. There is a small computer, you know. Oh, yeah. Wire connected. Mm -hmm. My mouse. No, one thing, one thing. Just one minute. Reboot. Reboot. Let's close this one. Power off. <laughs> close virtual box. Close this PG admin. Put this one. Okay. Now you have to virtual box <coughs> where is the virtual box let me let me bring it to you you have two screen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay yeah can you uh, power on okay i will on no problem. let me do that Yeah, it's not listed. Root. I'll put root password. Okay. Signing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I put it already. Yeah. Next. I will do that. Nine last eight. I had nine. Nine last eight. Nine. Nine.
Yeah, it's working now. Okay. So we can put in now. Let's put it, okay. Put root password. You want me to put password? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, put password, please. Yeah. As you post, Grace, we need to start the service, right? PG underscore CTL start. Is equal. I can give you a simple method to enable archive, okay? Three command to post Grace. Don't go OS level, right? So this will be good for you. What do you think? What do you say? Alternative method to enable archive log using PSQL. Currently we do through OS, right? Uh huh. So let me do that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see what something right here. You said you started with um. You know we created directory structure first step, right? Mm -hmm. Let me let me share my screen first time, okay? Uh huh. Wait. I feel let you confused see. little about the commands, right? Uh huh. So see you me... post Grace. But that's what I did. It's not giving me. It's not taking me to post 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 Grace. Let, let me share my screen one minute. Huh? Oh, it took me to Postgres already. Okay, so first step you did this one, right? You see this command. Then second step you did this one. And third step, I will make easy for you. Just don't do this, okay? You can keep this one or alternative I put, okay? You can take both, both way, okay? Thank you. Okay, hold on. Uh, all right, let me see where you are. Yeah, let me let me go through this one. You remember I put this command step three. Okay. Either you use this step if you are not comfortable to use this one, we can use the database method. Okay. Alternative method. We can copy this command and run through Postgres. It will be easy for you, okay? Connect to Postgres and run first command. Alter system, set archive mode on, okay? Step three, just skip this command, okay? Other step are same. Then we need to copy this path and make like this command here. Okay. <coughs> so you remember this command. <coughs> and third command this one. Okay. Go back there. Why am I? I'm under my root user post grace, but why is it giving me just a one like post grace dash? It just giving me a one dash here. I will uh, I will finish this one, then I will log in uh, see your computer. What do you think? All right, so, that's fine. Yeah, just uh, I put this step three. Now, if I see the archive mode, it is off, right? So I need to restart okay. one time. It's on now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, first step, this is a, either you can use this method 
or remove this method, no need. Don't confuse yourself. Use the same method, this one what I use, okay? Mm -hmm. Step three, you see here? No, I put this command to your chat window, okay? So you can do front of me, okay? Yeah, I'm good right there, but why my uh, my my root user just giving me a one dash? Yeah, yeah, I, I will I will come to your computer. I will just share this how to enable archive on WhatsApp. Okay, so let me, can you share your screen now? Uh, let me see this. Disable the sharing. Yeah, yeah let me let, let me enable. Yeah, you can share now. This is what I'm talking about. You see this one? No, you, you don't put space. SU, space, dash, space, postgres. SU, type S. SU, uh -huh. dash, space, space, dash, uh -huh. space, postgres. Enter. That's it. It's still giving me one space. No, no, you are in the post -gris. Exit from here. Slash Q. Uh -huh. Q, U, <laughs> Q, enter. Yeah, now you are in the operating system level, right? Okay, now, yeah. Okay, now I need to go to SU now. No, no, SU, you are already, already connected to the post -gris user. Just type ID, okay. ID. Mm -hmm. to make sure you are connecting to the enter. Yeah, you are connecting to post VST. Okay, all right. Now you can go, you can create folder. MK. Yeah, above, copy above command. Mm -hmm. <laughs> make directory, you know. No, no, you have above command there. You type, type uh, uh, you, can, you can, you see down, down. Yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't put slash because you, okay, let's create. Oh, control V. It doesn't go with control. Oh, no. oh right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah this okay. is okay. No LS? Mm, nothing. Okay, hold on, let me do it myself. MK, the uh, dash P. Dash don't P. Put, no, don't put P because you are creating on the same path. Don't put P. You are P mean you are creating more than one folder. Inherit, right? Okay. So just remove P, just make, make DIR space archive log. Okay. Logs. Enter. No, PWD. This is your directory. LS. Yeah, you create CD. Go to this directory, CD space. Archive, AR, tab. AR, tab, 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 press tab. Command will complete. Yeah, enter. PWD. Okay, copy this one. Copy this path. No, 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 above, above, above. Which one? This one? Slash home, slash post grace, slash archive log. Above, above uh, second line. Uh, no. The second to the last. Yeah, second to the last. This yeah. one? No, down. Second okay, to the this, last one. this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, go to my, uh, go to notepad, open notepad. Okay. Control V. And yeah, go to my chat window, WhatsApp, copy all commands from there. Yeah, step one, all copy in one.
Yeah, go to Notepad. Paste it there. Just a minute. There, just a minute, I'm on phone, just a minute, huh? just to make Hello? Are we here? He said he's on a call. Oh, okay. <laughs> I say, I, yeah. I, I wonder, I need to understand me with the man they do for you. <laughs> That's Linux for us, Dora. That's Linux. The only two have it on you. Me too, I didn't understand. I just need to follow all you need to follow. And then, um, honestly, you just have to follow now Linux and then mm -hmm. you start doing the practice, you start to do those commands. There's no way you're gonna get the commands in one day. Okay. Yeah, there's no way. All these things really do like this. If we don't go back, go do and try to create all those things, they'll not get them. Okay. Even me, I need okay. to follow. Now the same way we'll learn SQL if they mm -hmm. ask me. So yeah, at the end of the day. It's just the same way. They do, you don't get it. We need to now we go to practice our yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't should not be here. It's not past my power.
sorry, dear, I was on call. Yeah. Back. Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. So, uh, Piggy, can you try now? You did? I think she's mm -hmm. here. Piggy, there? Hello, Piggy? Yes, sir. I'm right here. Yeah. Can you go to the uh, uh, command line so we can go with the same action, which I put in Yeah, step? this is my command line here. Okay. You can give me access so I can make it uh, easy for you. you know? Okay, Just let me see. Yeah, make, All give right. me access here. Yeah. So All I right. will do, I, I will I will make like window this one. I will minimize this one. Uh -huh. uh, let me do that. Okay, that's fine. I will minimize not required windows. Okay. I have so many, sorry. Hmm. Uh, this is my account. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sending. No problem. I'm sorry. I had to do that late. No problem. It's okay. Actually, I'm planning to come US, you know, on uh, next month, 6 December. Oh, really? Yeah. Where? In uh, Washington. Oh, you be in Washington. You're not being in Texas. Yeah. Maybe I, I will come for one day or two days to meet Norbit. <laughs> No, I will make organized way. Okay, like this. Okay. Now you have both screen. Okay. So first okay. we need to check the archive mode is okay or not, right? Uh -huh. So I will connect to P SQL. I check, I will type the command, okay? Or you can copy paste, okay? Archive mode is off, right? Second, we need to check the archive mode command. It's disabled, right? Yeah, so third, hold on, let me ask this. Let me say this. Dora, are you on this page? No, I'm not. I'm not on that stage, not at all. Okay, so uh, <laughs> what we need to do is, let's see if she's on this page. Let me leave, don't, let me stop sharing because I can continue from here. Let her share so that she... we can be on the same page. Okay. You know, I can continue from here, where you are right now. I see what you're doing, I can continue. You just need to copy the path where you file the, you know, let me do that. You just need to modify the location, you know, just one, let me. You, you create this folder here, right? Yes. So just type control X and we need to change it here. Okay, okay, okay. I think it is same, right? It I think same. it's the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is same. So this is okay, you just copy paste. So yeah, so let me stop sharing so you can help her. So I want us to be on the same folders. page. PGCTL. Stop, right? Okay. Five, verify. Uh, show. Okay. You can save this one, this command, okay? So let mm -hmm. me stop. I'll stop sharing. Yeah, uh, Dora, you can, you can, I will do like the same for you, okay? Yeah, so that we can be on the same page. Okay. Uh, Dora, you can share now. Okay.
<coughs> yeah, this is yours, right? Mm -hmm. oh, you see? Much. Yeah, can you open, can you share full screen there? So we can oh, my screen. screen. Okay. You see my screen? Yeah, yeah. Can you copy the same thing uh, from chat window to notepad? Open notepad. Okay. Okay. Yeah, open the WhatsApp. Copy the same command. Okay. Where is my... Yeah, uh, expand that one. Uh, is this one? Yes, expand it. Okay. Copy all of this yeah. from step one. Yeah. Control C. Then I come back to my... Okay. Oh, give me access. I will organize for you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let me do that. Okay, no problem. We can take like that, okay? So first step, mm -hmm. uh, we need to create the folder, okay? Uh, make MKDIR. Wait, can I do it? Because I don't want to be able to do it so that I will know. Okay, you, you can do. Okay, first step. Yeah, yeah, do this, copy this. Yeah, no, no, space. Yeah. Make directory. Okay. okay. Make. Oh, yeah, make directory. Space, mm -hmm. space archive. Mm -hmm. Archive spelling. Oh. Minus oh, oh, oh. V. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So now uh, you created one folder, right? Follow me, follow mm -hmm. me, just follow me. Okay. So you created folder, just ls put ls list this folder exists or not? Ls? L? Mm -hmm. S? Mm -hmm. S. This means list. Okay. list of the, no, no. Ls, one time, ls. Enter. Ls. Mm -hmm. No, no, ls. One comma. L S okay okay enter. Enter. See this folder is created right. C D mm -hmm. go to this folder. C D mean change directory. C D change directory. C D space. C D space space. C D space. Yeah. Keyboard Give me space. one second, please. Give me one second. Okay. We have space on the keyboard. 
Duda? She might have stepped, just give her one step away. Oh. I'm coming, please. Come on. <coughs> I don't know. No, I don't. Okay, you say city space space. Mm -hmm. A R C K R C archive. Oh. Oh, A. I'm sorry. Space. A R. Just uh, hit tab on keyboard. It will complete. Tab. No, no. Tab. Tab, tab, tab on keyboard. Just click, hit on you tab. You know when you, you got, you see where you have the, the shift, the cap locks, you see tab. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Enter, enter. No, enter. No, you are enter. in this folder. Enter. Yeah. No PWD, present working directory. You can see the path. Present working directory. PWD. Type PWD. PWD? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Enter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, copy this part. Which part? Co copy the yeah, home post parts. brace archives. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's the same thing. Home yes. post brace archive law. Yeah, just oh. leave it there. No, no, the mm -hmm. slash you forget. Copy all. You forget this the one slash. That, that I oh, I forgot the slash. Okay. I said it's the same thing that you have on the on the on the okay. one note. Yeah, notepad. Just change the go to notepad. I think same thing you have notepad, right? Yeah, it's there. the same thing you have on the notepad. Leave okay. it there. So no, okay. no, no, first you have to check the status post release archive enable or not. Just mm -hmm. P SQL, type P SQL. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Enter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Show. Space archive underscore mode. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, that's space underscore underscore what mode? You can see that the mode, mode. okay. Enter, right? Yeah. Like this? No, no, mode. You see the command. If you go to step one, you will see the command. Mode oh, OK. okay. I was not looking at it. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. Is that right? This one that I just put. Yeah. Yeah, you can just copy and put it there. No, no, you put two. Uh, okay. This is okay. See, archive mode is off. Mm -hmm, okay. Oh, okay. And then I go to the next one, which is create the directory structure for archive log root user. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Uh, so this is the disable, you know. So now we need to go down. We already created step two, right? Go to step mm -hmm. three. Go to step three. Mm -hmm. Down. Yes. 
You are copying the altar system set that an owner put it there. Like starting from this mode, right? Yeah, start from the altar system to the <laughs> on. Yeah, right there. Yeah, uh, don't take the altar system. You miss an A. Yeah, copy and then paste it there. Just click your mouse there. It's gonna when you you do CD. No, don't. Yeah, mm -hmm. just click your mouse there. Yeah, mm -hmm. enter. Okay, same. Hold on. Why does it have so many lines? Um, no, 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 no. You have to copy. <sighs> what you do? Uh huh. Why yeah. does it? Yeah, just copy the command only first. Yeah, copy again. That's what she. That's what she did. It has so many lines. Do not put a space there. Copy the command again. Copy. Okay. Yeah. Copy and paste. Just go. Make sure you don't have a space on this thing. Sorry. Enter. Yeah, good. Copy the next one. When you copy the next one, do not copy the second line that says author system. That has a capital lock. You just copy the next one, everything on the next one. Open the whole okay. chart so you can okay. see. Go to the end, see little by little, make sure you see the end. Open the notepad so you can see. Expand the notepad, man. Um, you will not see everything. Op bring, drag the notepad and bring it and then you open everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, drag the notepad towards the, yeah. No, that's not the notepad. Yeah, that one, open, yeah. Oh, just open it so you can see. You know that's what? a man. Let me put it down here. So the next one was the, okay. We can you know see. It. Yeah, the next one is auto system. Make sure you take it to the end. This last end, okay. You don't see the end, that's not the end. You don't see the end, man. Because I need you to see the end. This you the end. See, uh -uh. You're, you're coupling plus the auto system. See, just expand the notepad, forget about 40. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Expand there, yeah. So you see where the end was? So you're not seeing the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, copy. Then you can minimize the notepad. It will just go back to the other, just minimize it. Uh, mm -hmm. Paste it down there. Uh, you have two, two things open. I just yeah. keep quiet. I'm just looking. <laughs> yeah, paste it there. Paste it there, Dora. Paste it. Yeah, mm -hmm. say enter. Okay, leave it there. Try to close the other root user that is open. It's confusing. Okay, leave that one open now. Go back to your notepad. Bring back your. Uh, uh, don't know. It's too big now. Bring back your notepad. Mm -hmm. Copy the next one, author system. Right. Then to the next one. Hello? Yes, yes, Dora. Yeah, paste that one. Yeah, I already did. Look. 
Okay, now the step, the next step four, so you can continue. Hey, when is the class stopping? It's supposed to, it was supposed to be, okay, it's 10 to one, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's, because it's three hours, it's supposed to be 10 to one. I'm having some people around. I don't know whether you guys will come. Since you want to continue, you can continue to one, then I'll follow up from the video. Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dora, you're on track. You're exactly where you're supposed to be right now. Yeah, can you, okay. you, you need to restart. Let me uh, let me write step down, step four, okay? Yeah, you that is to stop and restart. Where is the other step for, to start? Yeah, I wrote for you, but I did not wrote for Dora, right? She copied from WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, right. uh, I'm saying I'm going to step out. You guys can continue. I'll follow from the many 30 minutes. I'll follow from the class video. Is that okay with you? Yeah, also, I will share the all questions, okay? You just yes. you go uh, questions, you go through these all questions. If you have mm -hmm. any questions, you can send me WhatsApp. All right, sure. And then we will come forward with the, the, our next class, right? I That's Wednesday, today, right? Um, yeah. Today is uh, yeah. Thursday, right? Today is supposed to be our last class, right? Um, but we are not done with the backup and recovery. Yeah, so we can take uh, one hour session, next session for backup and recovery only. What All do you right, think? that's fine. Okay, so okay. which day, which day is suitable for you people? Wednesday, okay? Oh, can we, yeah, can we talk about that? Maybe Wednesday or Tuesday? Yeah, so. okay, no problem. You can confirm me time. So backup, because backup is still remaining. So today yeah. we complete this one, then backup. Questions I will share to the WhatsApp. You will people review and make questionaries if you have any question concern, right? So next I would class, like us, I would like us to, I know after the back of our recovery class, I would yeah. like us to have just a uh you share the questions and then can we please, I know it's your time. Can we please have another another interview session where we ask you the questions, you tell us like how you want to answer it. Yeah, sure, that sure. No yeah, yeah, sure. I have no issue. No All right. Problem. So first, okay. next class, we will cover the backup and recovery and we will go through the interview preparation questions. We can okay. take two hours and we can complete. All right, okay. If All there right. is anything uh, pending, we can do in next class. If it's not pending, then we can close. Okay. okay. Yes. There is no, no mandatory, you know. <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for, I don't mind. Thank you, Dan, you, you submit uh, fees, all fees to me. Thank you so much. No problem, no problem. Yeah, all right, thank you. Okay, dear, thank you. I will share this PCTL stop. Can you finish this with me, with me please? The, yeah, the yeah, last, I'm the last step. I'm okay. with you. Stop, then PG, CTL stop. Then verify, okay? You have to save, Dora, this file, okay? Yes, let me save it. When you're done, I'll save it. Uh, let me finish. So that's step four, right? Okay, finish. Okay. Let me do it so that you can see. Yeah, yeah. I will just type uh, show archive mode. Mm -hmm. that's it. Verify, right? Yes. Yeah, now you can do this. Go to. Okay. Step let me go to my okay oh let me copy this first so i'm doing this pg this one right yeah yeah stop this is a okay. stop the p sql the stop okay right, and then i paste it here enter that's right no no not here on the os level slash q exit from here slash forward slash q Okay, let me go back to the notepad. Yeah. I, I will okay. Put here. I will put it here. Oh, just a minute. Can you do it so that I can see? Exit from OP SQL slash Q. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, then next step. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go to the putty. Mm -hmm. Slash Q, quit, slash Q. 
backslash Q, okay. Oh, no, forward uh, backslash. Oh, backslash, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. this one. Q, Q. Mm -hmm. no, you exit Ent from post, enter. Enter, right? Yeah, uh, enter. Yeah, now you exit, you now you are operating system level, right? Before you were mm -hmm. in PSQL level. Here, put mm -hmm. PGCTL stop. Above command, copy above and paste. Yes, it's gonna be this one, PGCTL now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, so stop. Next, next command. We restart. Up arrow key and right star, start instead of spot. Yeah. The next one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, paste. Yeah, it started now, right? Now mm -hmm. you have to verify archive enable or not. P SQL, go to the P SQL database. P SQL. So I do P S SQL. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enter. Mm -hmm. Now you can verify. Show. So. Space archive underscore mode. Space archive underscore mode. Okay. You will. You will see it will be on. That's it. Yeah. Co colon, Enter. colon, colon. Oh, okay. Colon, okay. Enter. There you go. See? No, it is on. on. Right? Yeah, okay. On, oh, one, one, yes. Yeah. Slash Q, you will see the archive log there. Slash Q, we can verify. You have NCP okay. connected, right? WinCP? Yeah, you connected WinCP, right? Mm hmm WinCP, you can connect WinCP? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there is, yeah. Let me look for WinCP, it's right here. Yeah, yeah, open. Uh Uh oh. Okay. Hmm. That's the IP address here, right? Ten dot zero dot zero dot two two five. Are you there? Yeah. Is this? Yeah. Is this yeah, yeah. This is IP. Yeah. Login. Then my username is going yeah, to be root. root. Uh, Postgres, you have done a login to Postgres user. You have, okay. Okay, first go to Putty. I will reset password in. Um, yeah, so Putty, close this. Putty. Go to Putty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exit from here, slash Q. Slash Q, okay. Oh, it's the back one. Uh, backslash. Backslash, okay. Yeah. So then uh, uh, switch to root, uh, exit, exit, type, exit. Enter. Yeah. Password, P A W S W D. P A W S W D. Type. P A W S. P A W S. No, no, no. P A A for Apple. P A W S. No, double S. Uh -huh. uh, WD. Like this? Yeah. No, 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 not uh, O, remove O, RD. Oh, yeah, okay. you can just uh, tab, tab, it will complete command. Tab. Okay. Yeah, tab. Uh -huh. You tab. You tab, right? Don't let me tab. Tab on keyboard, you know. Yes, I put that up, right? But... Yeah, space, space, mm -hmm. P, post, Chris. 
user Postgres. We are reset, resetting the Postgres password. Enter. No, no, one, one S, one S. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enter. No, P A double -S, S W D. Just P uh, type P A double -S, S and tap. Click, uh, hit and tap on keyboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one. Pass W D. Postgres. Type Postgres. Arich. Arich. Put in my password. Yeah, put any password which you want. Just remember the password. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Retype it. Yeah, good. Now go to WinCP. Put in the password here. Yeah. Is no, a username you correct? Username Postgres. Okay. Oh. Login. Yeah. Arich? Hmm? Yeah. Say that again. Go, yeah, yeah. Go to archive log. Click on this one. Archive log. You see the archive log folder above. No, no, here, down. You know, there, right side, right side. Archive log folder. In the fourth one, down. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. Open. Yeah. This is your archive log folder. So all archive will mm. come here. Okay. Okay. So this password that I just reset for WinCP, right? No, no, no. This, this, password. Is, this is your Postgres user password. WinCP is same like Putty. You know? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. WinCP uh -huh. and Putty are same. Hmm? Bin CP and Putty are same thing. Okay, got it. So Dora, you people have to go to this practice one by uh, disable and enable, okay? And mm -hmm. uh, do some practice. And uh, because today is, uh, time is over, we will uh, continue next class on Wednesday or Tuesday, backup and uh, rest of things. Okay. 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 So I will send send you people uh, the questions. Okay, question and answer, interview question and answers. So just uh, when get time, just read you, and uh, we will discuss in next class. Okay. I will share now. Uh, just one minute. All right. Thank you very much. You have any question? If you have any question, you can ask me. Anything. I'll reach out to you. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, dear. Bye. I will share recording, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye.